Hello everyone. I first off want to say I'm sorry that I haven't done the um done this uh, my Re Eureka Live placings video yet even though Eureka Live was a few weeks ago now. I actually haven't had time to unpack all my models to do the video and that's why I haven't done it yet. I'll first start off with the performance entry I did. Uh, I decided to go ahead and try and do a performance injury and it, it turned out alright. Um, although I was kind of disappointed in the performance entry, entries in general this year. There just wasn't like a whole bunch of them like kind of before and it was more fun to watch see like everyone's entries. Anyway, um, so this is like the tack I used. Uh, I didn't make any of this, well, except for the reins I did, but they're not even that good. But, um, and he actually still has some sticky wax on him. I haven't washed him yet. Anyway, he ended up, uh, entered him, entered him in a few classes, and he ended up placing first, second, third, and fourth, and he got two, uh, NAN cards for the first and second. So, even though, um, I still can't do too well my performance injuries because like my LSQ saddle it's not it is better than of course regular briar, regular briar saddles but um, I got it kind of cheap and I, I really like it personally but it's like compared to some of the really fancy stuff competitors pull out uh, it doesn't really stand a chance, chance. so <laughs> anyway uh, I'm glad he placed though Okay, next up here, this is, uh, well, this year I bought two, uh, models at the show. Although this time I didn't buy anything from Peter Stone. I thought about buying one of the, um, special run models for Eureka Live, but, uh, I changed my mind. I decided not to. They were all really expensive, too. And so, uh, I ended up buying this lovely fellow. And, uh, I actually bought him from someone here on YouTube. Uh, I'm so sorry I forgot your name. Um... Please look in the description though, um, I'll put the link to her channel, please go check her out, her customs are really cool, you should really see them, they're awesome. Anyway, so this is a Peter Stone model, I absolutely love this guy, the moment I saw him I was like, oh yes, you are for me, you are perfect. <laughs> and um, I ended up showing him like a little bit after I bought him, and he got fifth, which is great, I was happy he just placed even. And, um, yeah, I really love this guy. He's really, really adorable. And so I also now have an Appaloosa um, Peter Stone. Before I only had like paints and like one bay. So, yay! Alright, here's the my other Peter Stone-ish that I um, placed. Uh, this is actually actually my first Peter Stone too. Um, he placed six this year. He placed six last year under the same breed and everything. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm glad that he's had his placings because like I said he's like my first Peter Stone and he'll always be kind of a special boy in my heart. This is uh, a little custom Briar Stablemate I got from the same person I got the Peter Stone Appy. Uh, I did show him although I didn't have like a proper breed reference or anything and that was the only reason he didn't place. Um, I also I didn't really couldn't think of a breed for him so I kind of gave him the wrong breed but if I get a different breed for him next time he'll probably do better. Um, I forgot who, um, uh, she said is she was customized by, you can see the, eh, what her YouTube name, I mean, if you can see the markings there. Ah, uh, sorry, that's my dog. Anyway, um, he actually was a little, like, uh, yellowed too, but, um, he actually needs a little bit more time in the sun on this side, but now he's all whitened up because I've sat him in the sun for, like, a week now. Anyway, so even though he didn't place, uh, I really like him. He's a really cute little guy. Alright, another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, with this model, I didn't actually show him, but um, I wanted to just say what the judge was saying about this model because she was talking about the draft, like all the draft classes pretty much. With this guy, O'Leary's Irish Diamond. You see, he's definitely not show quality. Um, if you do show this model, um, don't show it as an Irish draft horse, or at least not a pure Irish draft horse. Because apparently, in the breed, really high white markings aren't allowed, I guess. He didn't, uh, the model, so someone who showed this model didn't place because they showed him as just an Irish draft, and apparently that's not correct for the breed. 
I just thought you guys might want to know that if you thought about showing him. I mean, some judges' opinions vary on that, but, um, yeah. I really don't like showing this model anyway, just because what really bugs me about him is the fact that... It's hard to show you, but they didn't, like, they don't spray, like, the gray around his legs, like, all the way around. So he has these really awkward white... Like, right there, that's the worst, right there. Like, all white down the front of his leg. He didn't voice because of that, but I'm just saying that's my own personal opinion about the model. That's why I don't show him, I just... Yeah. <laughs> this little girl, I've shown... Uh, last year at Eureka and at a mini show I went to last year that I'm going, going to again this year. And I'm surprised. Every time she's placed, she has not... There hasn't been a time yet where I've shown her and she hasn't placed. I don't know why, but the judges seem to really like her. And she got fifth. Alright, now this little guy is just incredible. He's the only model... Uh, he's like my highest like placing model ever. He's gotten first uh, champion in his division and overall... OF Grand Champion. He's, well, and, well, that was at a mini show when he got those really high titles. I don't remember if he placed or not last time I took him to Eureka, but, um, I wasn't sure if he was going to place. I was like, oh, he might not place since, you know, technically the uh, stablemates are supposed to be judged equally with the traditionals, but, I mean, usually judges will kind of lean towards traditionals, it seems like, sometimes. But I was surprised when he got second and the judge thought his breed was perfect for him and that he was just great, which he is. I'm so happy about that. This little guy is just a little rock star. This is the new 2013 um, Gorillo Paint model in uh, the Ethereal Mold. I absolutely love this guy and um, I named him Breaking Bad after one of my favorite TV shows. and. Um, he got third. I was so happy about that because I don't remember what his breed is now, but I did kind of like an obscure breed thing and I was like, eh, it might not work. But I was surprised when the judge actually said, yeah, that was a good idea. Uh, the only part I was disappointed about is um, the fire ethereal model I showed in the same class and he didn't place, which I really wanted to place, but oh well. I'm really glad that he placed. He is so awesome. I love this guy. I showed two of my Peter Stone ponies at the show, and this one, Marina Del Rey, she placed. She's really cute, and she's actually signed by Peter Stone there. She's so adorable, so I'm glad she got a six. This is the J.C. Penny 2011 horse, I think, uh, Smoke. Uh, I love this model. I think she is so adorable. Even though she still has that horrible leg and the small hoof and stuff, I don't know if the judges just don't notice it, some of them, or they don't know it's there, or they just kind of ignore it because it's in a briar class, or for whatever reason. But the judge at um, our show didn't, didn't care at all about that. So I just want to put that out there if you think, oh, I really want to show my Make-A-Wish model or whatever, but sometimes the judges don't seem to mind at all, and she actually plays second. And it was really cool, too, because I think I showed f or three, four horses or whatever in this class. And they ended up splitting the class into two parts, but we didn't know about that. Into um, pure pony breeds and, pure, like, mixed pony breeds. And then she got a second for the pure pony breeds. So that was really, really cool. All right, this is my model that placed the highest in the entire show. I'm sorry he has all his blankets and stuff on, but I don't really feel like taking them off because they're kind of a pain to take on and off. And I do that because I try to keep them as nice as possible because I absolutely love this guy. If you don't know who it is, this is um, Canarita, the 2011 Mid-States exclusive. Um, I call him Cherokee Rose though, uh, that's his show name, please don't steal it. Uh, or Daryl from The Walking Dead. So I was so, so happy. Um, that he placed first of all because I showed him last year and he didn't place so I was bummed about that and then so when he just placed second this year I was like yes yay he placed finally because I absolutely love this guy uh, so I put him up for the uh, champions in the division and he got a reserve champion which is awesome and who got grand champion is uh, the star warrior horse 
with um, her Dezuido model, I believe. Yes. So that was really cool. We both got the champions in that division, and so that was really cool. Another thing is, uh, I think hers also got second place. Both our models got second place, and uh, some people think, "Oh, my model didn't got second; they didn't get first, so they're not gonna qualify. They're not gonna probably get placed for the reserve or champion." But uh, they do still. This is why the judges have. The second place models come up to the ring with the first place. This is another one of my favorite models. This is the um, winter prize model of the Four Seasons. Even though I never did that treasure hunt, uh, I just bought him. Uh, I love this guy. I showed him last year. He didn't place. I was bummed. I showed him as a different breed this time. He got fifth, although the judge said, judge said his breed actually still isn't right. I need to cross him with a Shire or a Clydesdale. The reason she placed me was because his breed reference was pretty good, and so she was like, your breed reference is really good, just cross him with a Shire or a Clydesdale and he'll be perfect, so, yes.